Today, I'm gonna to be showing you all of my loose skin after losing 120 pounds in one year. So this is actually really hard for me to do. It's harder than I thought it would be. I generally don't feel self-conscious about my body or loose skin, but posting it for everyone to see is kind of different. It's, it, it's different, but I, I've taken pictures on my Instagram before and videos of my loose skin, but it's different like just standing here like this and pulling it about for you guys and just showing you every inch of my skin. It kind of makes me feel a little bit self-conscious, um, but as a rule, I don't normally feel self-conscious. I find it easy to hide. Like, I don't think when you look at me, you can't really see that I have a lot of loose skin. I have loose skin everywhere from head, maybe not to toe, but to, to about my knees. I was 269 pounds. Um, if you don't know what that is in stone, that's like 19 stone, just over. I am now 149 pounds as of my last weigh-in. 10 stone, 10 or nine can't remember having loose skin it doesn't compare to being obese i genuinely feel so much better if that makes sense i feel healthy i feel more happier i can do things i couldn't do before i can wear clothes that i couldn't wear before um i would never have done a video standing in a vest or shorts and i definitely wouldn't be posting it and posting any pictures you know what i mean but it's not something that is that i would have wanted i would have loved to have my skin to be tight i would have loved to be able to see my abs all of the hard work that i've put in but at the same time i'm happy with my body would i ever get a tummy tuck maybe one day hopefully if i could ever afford to it's a lot of money and also there's a lot of risks that come with having a tummy tuck and also um i have loose skin everywhere so i would actually want a 360 if i'm gonna go for a surgery i would want to get it all all done so i wouldn't want to have to just get the tummy tuck and then feel like i need to get the back done after i would want to get the 360 which is around 12 grand which is a lot of money and i need to have made sure that i am able to maintain my weight and all of that stuff so that's what i want to do first so having loose skin it doesn't compare at all to being fat and don't be scared of loose skin but without further ado i will just start to show you um so if i'm i'm looking over there i just need to be able to see what i what you guys can see i noticed that i've got a bit of wrinkles but i don't know if this is considered loose skin like my skin i noticed that even on my head like <laughs> i had a big face yeah i don't know if other people could do this or not but it's just something I'm, i noticed yeah go to my chest i have a lot of you can't tell that i've got like skin you know um but i definitely do yeah but like even even there um i have like hardly any boobs now and they've got loads of loose skin but it is what it is at the end of the day. It doesn't it doesn't bother me too much. I'm not too bothered. I wear sports bras. I'm I'm just personally not bothered. I had big boobs um throughout my whole life, so I, I had my time. <laughs> if I could afford to get a boob surgery, I would. A breast augmentation, I would. But at the end of the day, if I never get a breast surgery, it's not the end of the world. All right, so I'll show you my legs. So this is what I my legs look like when I'm just wearing shorts um i actually can't wait for the summer because i will actually wear shorts this summer i won't let myself be boiling hot when i was bigger i would wear leggings and i would like sweat to death and i would never show my legs but yeah these are my legs they don't look too bad uh they've got some loose skin here but you can't i don't think you can really tell you can see a little bit if i come a little bit closer you can see it jiggles a little bit and there's a little bit of lines and I can actually pull the skin. But other than that, I don't feel like it looks too bad. If you can think of it, like to tense my legs. I want to build some more muscles in my quads and my hamstrings. Here are my arms, tensed, like, and then not tensed. Skin. I have skin here. Uh you pull it but i actually don't mind my arms they they did hang a lot lower but then i toned them with muscle and 
I lost quite a lot of the fat in there so it doesn't hang low anymore. It just it's just this little bit. It's just literally this little bit here, but I'm not bothered. I think it looks pretty sick to be fair. Like it makes my arms look bigger than they are. <laughs> makes it look like they've got more muscle, I don't know. From like side angle. So I'm not bothered by my arms and my legs really. It's more my stomach, so I'll show you my stomach. So this is actually how a lot of people with loose skin will wear their, their clothes because it just covers up the skin. But as we come down, I will save that bit till last. <laughs> as you can tell, my, my stomach, like my belly button hangs low. I had a lot of fat in my stomach. It hanged quite low, so yeah. I would like to have my belly button up I don't it doesn't bother me too much showing my stomach like this I don't mind like this is how if I was to wear like a bikini or something because I put my knickers up like here like that so this if I was to wear a bikini in the summer I would wear it like this and I would I genuinely wouldn't feel self-conscious the part of my stomach that I want to be real about is um the bottom bit I had a massive belly and it overhung so I'll turn to the side. Okay, so this is my little overhang. Um, but from the front, you can see I have like a little wrinkly bit here. It just doesn't look, but the difference between my big belly that hang down here, I couldn't hide it. No matter, I would always wear my trousers up to here anyway. But it was, um, you could tell there was a massive belly there. When I put, wear it like that, no one knows, no one can tell. It doesn't look, do you know what I mean? Like it's not, it's not horrible. It's not bad. Like, I don't know. I do feel a little bit self-conscious showing that part of my body. That is the only bit I really do feel pretty self-conscious of because it just, it doesn't, it don't look the best. But what I will show you guys is when I pull my skin about, that's when you can really tell that I've got a lot of loose skin. So, and then when I pull it about as well, it looks, the appearance looks worse. Um, so I don't really actually like pulling my stomach about because I feel like I'm stretching the skin more, but here we go. I haven't actually tried anything like derma rolling or collagen or anything. I don't, I haven't done intermittent fasting or so um, I haven't done autophagy or anything, but I have actually ordered some collagen. Yeah, like I have ordered some collagen um, recently so that I can, yeah, like that is literally, I'll come closer, that is just skin. Like there's nothing even in there. And people think I don't have a lot of skin, there's a lot. I would be very toned if I didn't have the skin, but I've ordered collagen because I thought I might as well see if it will help. And I could actually document it and let you guys know of how much it actually helps. It's not gonna take away all this loose skin, but it might help. Collagen is good for you anyway, so why not? That's when I lean over. So you can see where my actual stomach is and the skin so if i had my skin removed that's what it would look like but instead we have this <laughs> i have quite a lot of loose skin under my arms here it can sometimes like do that and it's a bit annoying but it doesn't it doesn't bother me really my back I do have skin on my back. It's not too bad. It doesn't, you know, but I do have, I can't really show you, but I do have where all of my skin has is being pulled down by gravity and I'm losing my bum at the minute. I do have like a little bit of um, loose skin on my bum area at the bottom. So that's why I would want a 360 lift so I could just lift it. So I could just lift it all up. This is the reality of losing weight, a lot of weight. If you've got more than 
um, 100 pounds to lose or 100 pounds depending on you know and different factors such as your age how long you've been overweight how much weight you've got to lose all of that stuff um whether you've had kids all of that stuff all depends on how much loose skin you'll have but at the end of the day it's really not that much of a big deal i do have moments where i feel like oh i just want to take it off like i wish i could see underneath all of this but at the same time it does not compare to how i felt when i was obese and all of the health implications that came with being obese don't be scared of a bit of loose skin i still love my body i'm proud of my body i've never ever met anyone that's lost weight that has beaten obesity and that has said you know what i wish i was obese i, I this was pointless losing all this weight Just, this skin is ruining my life the skin is worse than being obese like no i've never never in my life and I don't think I'll ever hear anyone say that. I don't think anyone will ever feel that way, not even on their worst days. Don't let a bit of loose skin stop you. I can understand why people want to look at other people that have lost a lot of weight and see what their loose skin looks like because it's just interesting. I found it useful um, when I was starting my journey to just kind of prepare myself for what I might be looking for because loose skin is inevitable, it's normal, it happens. I'm happy and healthy, that's all that matters. Thank you so much for watching, like this video, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.